tart cherries actually have been used as gout therapy for three or four decades and they work. So for a variety of reasons. And I, I would say that, yes, we have 40 recipes in the book, but beyond uh, food, um, getting back to that enzyme that makes uric acid in your body called xanthine oxidase, that is the target of gout drugs. So drugs that are used to dramatically lower the uric acid, like one called allopurinol, we talk about it in the book, in terms of the science showing that you know, interventional trials using the, the gout drug has shown lower blood uh, pressure and better metabolic function, even though it's just being used for gout. But having said that, there are natural supplements like something called quercetin uh, and luteolin that target the exact enzyme and are almost the same uh, power in terms of their ability to lower that enzyme function as the gout drugs. So quercetin, 500 milligrams a day, that's a health food store, online kind of an item. Uh, vitamin C, 500 milligrams per day, helps us uh, re, uh, eliminate uric acid through the urine. Uh, there's one other bioflavonoid that's like quercetin, but really effective as well, called luteolin, L-U-T-E-O-L-I-N. And a dosage of that is about 100 milligrams per day. So when you catch everything on the front end, like fructose and purines, and then on the back end, in terms of the metabolism, the formation of uric acid, by uh, looking at things like quercetin and luteolin and vitamin C, uh, generally people are, are gonna be very richly rewarded by regaining control over their uric acid. And again, you have to know what that number is and it's super easy. So this is about you know, being empowered at home with this new understanding uh, that really becomes a powerful new tool in the toolbox. Generally, purine high foods are the animal foods uh, like liver, <clears throat> kidney, uh, shellfish, scallops, mussels, small fish like uh, sardines and anchovies that I enjoy. I still eat them. My uric acid's good. Uh, and these are foods that are very cellular. Anything that's really cellular is going to have uh, higher levels of DNA, RNA, and therefore create these purines to make uric acid. So uh, again, uh, you, if you know your uric acid and it's in a good uh, range uh, that, you know, below 5.5, then you want to have some anchovies on your Caesar salad, go for it. I do. And I love it. I always loved anchovies and still do. Uh, the biggest issue, again, is fructose and then alcohol. And it turns out that as we talk about alcohol, there, it's not all equal. That hard alcohol raises uric acid. That wine is pretty neutral in men and wine, especially red wine, in women is actually associated with a lower uric acid. And then finally, beer has alcohol, so it raises uric acid. DoctorsToTrust.com, the world's number one site for short annotated nutrition videos, 100% free.